is Sports Center. Breaking news. North Korea has been proven responsible for the Boko Haram kidnapping of 300 Nigerian schoolgirls. There, here we have a video of a Boko Haram operative admitting to North Korea's involvement with their organization. Poland, Jonathan, Wakullu Tawagit, Fil Alam. For all of you that are wondering about who finances our operation, I wish to inform you that the great nation of North Korea has been funding our attacks since our start in 2002. In other news, there has been an increase in cases of murders spreading through the Middle East and the world. There is also some major speculation that this disease was synthesized in North Korean labs. Back to Nier for more evidence. Ten years ago, North Korea kidnapped a scientist and forced him to invent a virus known as the MERS in the Middle East. We can only specu speculate about why North Korea has done all of this. But many experts suggest that North Korea has done this in order to distract the world from the, their increased nuclear weapons tests. This just in. The president of South Korea has made a statement regarding the increased nuclear weapons tests that have happened in North Korea. People of South Korea, it has come to my attention that North Korea has developed a powerful nuclear weapon with the intent of destroying South Korea. Seeing that we have a large nuclear threat on our hands and, North and South Korea is in more danger than it has ever been, I realize that I have not done my full duty as president of South Korea. And as a result, I must resign from the presidency. I'm heartily sorry for failing you, failing my people. And I, I have brought shame to myself and my entire nation. There is no way that I can go on as president knowing that I have failed my people and my reputation completely. Goodbye, people of South Korea. I wish you well. The president has also released his plan to move to the Swiss Alps after his resignation has become official. It seems as if the South Korean president simply wants to get out of his country before it gets blown up by the northern neighbors. Kim Jong-un has made a statement that discusses the recent news stories. Yes, all the allegations are true. We have an incredibly powerful nuclear bomb that will henceforth be called the Yoon Bomb. This bomb has the potential to destroy all of South Korea. And we will not hesitate to blow up South Korea if we need to. We will destroy the Yoon Bomb if the UN meets our demands. We demand that sanctions um, the sanctions against this be lifted and the Jerusalem and the Taj Mahal are ceded both to the glorious magnificent nation of North Korea. This will lead to an incredible future for North Korea. The excessive consumption of capitalist countries is destroying the world. As one of the last truly communist nations in the world, we see as our, as our divine task to spread ideology and rid the world from horrors of cons consumerism. The people on earth have been enslaved by Western imperialism and capitalism. Under the, North, the rule of North Korea, under the rule of Kim Jong-un, places will become safer, cleaner, and more equitable for everyone who lives in the new overtaken areas. It will not matter whether uh, we take South Korea through violent means or if we're able to obtain the small pieces of land that are requested for the manning of a bomb. In fact, if I had it my way, the whole world would be under my rule. Under that, uh, after the people they finally notice that North Korea is the best model of government in the world and that everyone should give North Korea the honor and respect it deserves. For years, we were, we were seen as an outlier, an anchorism of Cold War tensions, but now the whole world is afraid of us, and rightfully so. North Korea is the most powerful nation in the world, the world and we have finally illustrated our power and might to the rest of the world. Interesting. Now, what will North Korea do with the acquisition of Jerusalem if they get it? Our political expert will comment on this. Many of our experts suggest that North Korea intends to use the Taj Mahal as a summer palace. As a summer palace, the Taj Mahal would be out for the pool and a moon dance. All of those will be used by Kim Jong-un during the summer vacation. 
Now, our medical expert, Jim, who will comment on the, on the implications of the spread of MERS. Continues to spread throughout the world, it could possibly cause a widespread pandemic that could kill many of the people that are affected by the virus. However, North Korea would be largely unaffected because North Korea is often known as the hermit nation, and not many people from outside North Korea go into the country. This is truly a world crisis. We can only hope that the United Nations, with its completely direct authority, will be able to stop this terrible occurrence with a resolution that will make a peaceful solution to the problem we have at hand. Hopefully, this does not end up like the situation when Godzilla appeared and every single NATO country temporarily left the United Nations to become the Justice League. Has North Korea gone mad? What will they do now?